hi girls welcome back to my channel so today i am doing another video with the company you layer hair i'm actually going to be showing you guys how their hair holds up to heat and how i get my units to be as straight as they are and customize them i guess to be almost perfect <laughs> All right, so I'm starting off with wet hair, um, and this is just um, to make it easier to comb out. Um, this was after I already constructed the wig, and I was finally able to comb everything out, like actually on the canvas head. So I'm just brushing out the hair. I use a bristle brush, I, I don't know if that's what, or a paddle brush, um, to comb it out so that it's not pulling too hard on the hair and that it's not breaking the hair. So. That's what I'm doing. I'm just brushing it out and then I'm going to be applying my cheese silk infusion to the hair before I allow it to air dry for the most part. All right, now that I've allowed the hair to air dry for about an hour, I would say, I'm now just gonna comb it out. And I really feel like the Chi Silk Infusion really helps with like the shine to the hair. So that's what I'm doing. I'm, um, I allowed it to air dry. I don't know, I just don't like using a crazy amount of heat when I do um, wigs or units, just because I feel like heat can damage your normal hair, so you would have to think the same when you use a wig. But anyways, I am using my blow dryer now on the cool setting just to get any of the dampness out of the hair before I do actually apply heat to it. Um, like I said, I want to use as little heat as possible, so that's why I'm using the cool setting. All right, again, just going in and brushing it out now that I've blow dried it. And I'm going to be applying the cheese silk infusion once again to the hair. I don't use a whole lot, just enough to keep the shine. And I also like using this when I do apply heat. I feel like it makes the hair look better. I don't know, girl. So I'm just going in with my Remington straightener and straightening the hair out. I just want to show you guys how well it does with heat. Okay, now I'm going in with some shaping mousse or lotion, I guess you could call it. And I'm just going to be applying that to the hairline um, before I start using my hot comb to comb it out. And I guess shape the front of the, the wig. So I got my hot comb from Walmart. I believe it was like around $20. It could have been $25, but I know it was like around $20 to $25. And it works great. It gets the job done, honey. And I really feel like uh, using a hot comb is crucial to making a wig look natural. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm using in the front to just fix it. And then I'm going in with some edge control and just pushing the hairs back again at the hairline. Um, back, like I guess back and up or 
back and out. I don't know. Um, this is just something, again, that I do to construct the hairline because I feel like that's what makes or break the wig. That's what makes it look natural or not. So, anyways, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Super quick, super informative. The hair held up really great to heat. Thank you again to Ulair Hair for sponsoring this video, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.